Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode, we're going to do a uh, delete app, meaning we will delete a row of another app sheet app using another app sheet. All right. So I have a two sample application here. Okay. So I have the data we're in. It's uh, this is where we're gonna delete some of the rows using this application this delete application so to achieve that let's go to our app editor okay so let's go first to our data we're in the this app okay this application go let's go to our data let me just show you to you the columns so the columns i have is i have only these columns like one two three four columns and then the row key is the transaction ID. All right. And then when we're going to our delete application, so, okay. Then the row key is a transaction ID, but this time I put like an asterisk to make it like, um, to look different. Okay. Let's go to our data app. Before doing these things, make sure that your data view table in the data you are allowing deletes in this table but since we don't want to we don't want to show a delete here we are avoiding delete so we can hide this icon this behavior icon so what we're gonna do let's go to our data let's go to the behavior then this data then delete you can go here appearance do not display then then when you refresh this there is no way that the user can delete this this manually here so the user if someone's if you would like to delete this row you have to use another application okay so now there is no delete here then second what you will do in order to achieve that one, in order to delete another app sheet app. So first you have to go to the manage, go to the integration. Then in the integration, you click IN. Then make sure you enable this. And then you create an application key, which is I already created. Just click this one. It will show you this one. It will show you <clears throat> status enabled. And okay. And the same time. In our delete application, in our delete application, with, let's review the table. So this table is just, I have, I only need to add. So there is no update and there is no add. Okay. Then go to the manage. Oh, wait. And then let me show you the column key. Column key is a transaction ID. Then go to manage, integration, IN. Then make sure you, you enable the cloud service okay once you're done for that go to automation let's create a task first in the delete application so new task so let's use call a webhook i'm gonna name this task as delete okay. so here if you are the owner of the app you are the app creator, you can just use AppSheet API. Okay, once you click this AppSheet API, and then here above here, you will choose a table where you're gonna execute this action, I mean this automation. Then you can select, an app. these are all my application. So you have to select your target application. So since our target application is <clears throat> data, so I'm going to choose the data, which, which is this application, this data. Then here we have like uh, a body. So this is where we're going to construct our, our edit. So this time it's showing edit. So it's automatically edit. So what we're going to do, we're going to change this edit into delete since we need to we need to delete a row so we can change the delete. 
to cal you can also add the location you can also remove the location if you like so you can also change the time zone let's say the time zone i want to put arabian standard time so this is the time zone then here there is a row and close row so what we're going to do these rows here you remove this is a column actually see this is a column you get to remove remove this then this one you change it instead of change this into that side then so you're gonna do we're gonna put here in order to delete the another up sheet up we need to we need to know what is the key column there so the key column here in my data so the key column is transaction id okay so this is the key column for the another application this transaction id then we need to apply a expression so we need to apply so we're gonna use this then just follow me okay then what we're gonna do we're going to apply any um select then like a column in your delete app so in the column delete app we have the transaction id okay so this is the the one with the asterisk this is the transaction id comma then this row that should be the same trans ID is equals to trans get select you have to put a table so the table is delete okay. equals to trans section ID then you close this then sorry. then we are done for that once you're done for that so this is only the reference so what what we are going to what is our target is when we go to the data so we're looking for a transaction id okay so this is this is where they're gonna as you can see here in my app so i have here a transaction id i just need to type the transaction id and it when once i save it will delete a specific transaction transaction id here let's go back there then once you're done for that there is like uh, you have to close this you using this icon or let's go down to make it easy close then let's close the column and close again okay so this is this this option is if you are the owner or the creator of the app then you can use AppSheet API and I will show you later on how to do that if you are not the creator of the application okay once you're done for that go to boot new boot then let's create a new boot custom boot I'm gonna name this as delete a row configure the event custom event so i'm gonna just put here delete so to trigger this event i wanted only during add ads only so here in our application since our application design here as adding you know once we add a, a data and with specific transaction id it will trigger the event okay so ads only then add step custom step so i'm gonna name this as delete let's go back there guys i forgot to show you so make sure you select the correct table otherwise since i have only one table in this application which is only delete okay and then you click this color webhook then you created a task a while ago use that one 
then hit save okay now let's test our boot so but before we test we should add uh, data first okay so let's say i wanted to delete this one, a transaction id 105 so i'm gonna refresh first the application then i'm gonna add this one so i want to delete 105 transaction id and save and then when we refresh this so you can see it's it's deleted the 105 uh, but before you do that guys uh you can also test here the application test the boot first and if you don't see any any error like this and then when you execute when you did not see any error, success, meaning the automation is correct, okay? So let's try to delete another one. So let's say I want to delete transaction ID 103. So here I'm, I just need to add. So I will just put 103, the transaction ID. And then when I save it, then when I go to my data, this 103 should be deleted. See, it's 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 deleted okay so what if you are not the owner of the or you are not the creator of the another app sheet app so if you are not the owner of the app so what you're gonna do so you need to get the you go to manage then integration you need just to copy the this um, here the app ID okay so this is the app ID you can copy. You can copy the app ID or okay. Once you copy this, you copy this, then you go to the delete application. Let's change this one. It will be still the same. Uh, so let's say here you change this to custom, then JSON file. Then the the URL uh, you can paste the one. You need to put the AppSheet URL, which is this one. I mean the AppSheet API. Then put a slash here. Okay. What you're going to do is slash. You're going to put tables. So what is the target table? So you need to know the target table. So the target table is data. Then slash action. Then here, you can also uh, use the same formula that you use in the API a while ago. So this time, you're going to simply just use same. So I already copied it here to save. So here, this is the, this is the formula that we used a while ago in our app. You are the owner. So you can just use the same again. Okay. Then hit save. And now let's try if still tr triggering this one. So actually there is two options for this. Either you go with custom or you can use AppSheet API. Okay. So let's try if it's still working. Let's refresh the data. Let's refresh the app. Okay. This time I wanted to delete 101. So let's add the data and the delete. 101. It's save. Should be delete. So it's still the same goes, guys. So if you want to use the custom or if you want to use the preset, which is already there, you can just uh, select the select the application. So it's up to you. Okay. Either you want to use AppSheet API and just select which app you want you want the target. Or you can use the custom and then you can construct the url all right so if you have any questions regarding this video and by the way in my previous video if you go to my youtube channel i show how to here where is it give me a second when you go to my youtube channel 
I show there how to here. Let me play it. So in my previous video, it's a uh, it's add an update another app sheet app. So you can watch this video for you to learn how to add or how to update another app sheet app as well. Okay. So if you have any question regarding this video, you can leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time in my next video. Thank you so much.